I like this story. A St. Paul High School senior who was recovering in the hospital got a surprise today from his classmates. While marching band members hadn't seen their fellow band member and saxophone player in nearly two months. And as McFerris reports, his surprising progress is inspiring the community of Covington. It was a surprise concert that had people dancing and others wiping tears. The St. Paul High Band came from Covington to perform in the street outside of Turo Infirmary. For fellow classmate and band member, Phoenix Bigler. I am very happy to see him now, even though it brings me some tears sometimes when I was worried he wasn't going to make it when I heard about it. I was very upsetting. A surveillance camera captured that upsetting moment on July 2nd. Phoenix was riding his bike down an alley in Covington when he suffered a cardiac arrest. He was lifeless in the street for more than 20 minutes with no oxygen. EMTs were ready to pronounce him dead. Firefighters said, keep trying to resuscitate him. Although I'm super blessed and grateful for the medical community because I believe he sends them on the mission field for this for, for people like my son right now. Mm -hmm. But God did a miracle that no man could produce. Phoenix was in the hospital and now rehab at Toro ever since. It's still unclear why his heart stopped. His rehab doctor said there were tears in the ER when he began breathing again. She says he is now communicating. He's able to follow commands appropriately. He's 100% in there and working. Um, he's just slow. His processing slow right now. It almost makes me like value life more because like you could just be riding your bike and out of nowhere this happens and your whole life has changed. And so it just makes me go day to day with more appreciation. The Bigler family has just been such an inspiration to the community of Covington. It's just been a phenomenal story. We all support them. Mom Kim knew before her son was born that he was coming into the world to teach and inspire. That's why she named him Phoenix. Why did this happen to such a kind boy? But maybe that is the power in it. As I stumble through this life, help, help me to create, create more laughter than tears, to dispense more happiness and gloom, to spread more cheer than despair. And never let me become so indifferent that I'll fail to see the wonders in the eyes of the child. No matter how hopeless we can become sometimes in the dark times, there is hope that rises up out of it. But we have to keep our eyes where it needs to be, and that's on God. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. We hope that he fully recovers. We love to see this. Well, the Covington community has a GoFundMe page for Phoenix's medical expenses and long-term care. We have a link where you can contribute with this story on WWLTV.com. Wonderful story.